There's moments when you see a woman, or that moment when you see the woman that you want to speak to. And you start to notice that you feel nervous. You start to notice that you feel paralyzed. It almost feels as if you feel stuck. And this struggle is what every man goes through when he's first going out there to meet women. It's this feeling of being paralyzed. Feeling like he wants to go do it, but at the same time, he just can't get himself to do it. I've been there in moments like this. I've been there in moments where I see a woman and immediately I get up in my head and I start to think. I start to go, okay, is this the right situation? You know, maybe she's waiting for a guy. You know, maybe this beautiful girl right here, maybe she already has a boyfriend. Every situation would run through my head. And that in itself would paralyze me. Not only would my mind paralyze me, but the feelings in my body. My heart racing. My knees feeling weak. My stomach churning. As the physical sensations and the mental chaos happens at the same time, this causes paralysis. I'm gonna take you into a few moments and I'm gonna show you moments that I used to struggle with and I know these are moments that you probably struggle with <clears throat> or you used to struggle with to the same degree. All right guys, this is one of the moments where you notice the girl right here to my right and you see her, she's beautiful and you just allow her to just walk past. And what happens in that moment when you see her is you feel just your heart starts to race and you start to get into your head and you're like, I should do it, I feel like I should do it, but I just feel like I can't even move. I feel like my body just shuts down or my mind just goes blank. I don't even know what would I say. And this is one of the moments that I used to go through as well. I used to go through the moments where I would see a girl and I would feel in that moment, okay, I wanna talk to her, she's beautiful, she's what I like, Ah, oh, fuck, I just, I can't do it because ah, it's too quick, she's walking too fast. You have all these reasons that come up why you shouldn't do it. You have all these excuses that just gives you the leverage on not going up. It, it allows you to stay safe. And this is the thing that I noticed in, in students when I'm coaching them is they have always ran, run the thread of, I see the woman, I freak out, and I shut down, I become paralyzed, my mind starts to race. It's just a pattern, that's what it is. It's a pattern for you going out there and going after something that you want. It's a pattern for you going and uh, allowing yourself to test yourself against the feminine, but also at the same time mesh with women. And all your fears about women starts to come to the surface. And that's one of the great things that a beautiful woman does is that she brings a man's insecurities to the surface because she's one of the most influential beings on earth that can give him the chance to walk through his freedom that he wants to get through. Because she will be the mirror to him. She will. She'll be the mirror to him. And as much as she is on a pedestal to him, that means that he must grow in understanding what it means for someone to be equal. It's all kind of things that a beautiful woman does. So that is one key moment right there where you see the woman, she's coming towards you, and then you start to freak out. You feel like, fuck, I can't do anything. You get up in your head and it's just like, it's all over. Now the situation is gone. That girl will never get the chance to meet a guy like you ever again because guess what? Your chance of seeing her in a big city like this is very, very slim. So guys, it's moments like this where you're standing there and maybe you're waiting for a friend, maybe you're just chilling out for the moment and then you look over and you notice this beautiful girl that's standing here. And as you notice her, you just go, oh my God, this is the moment. This is the woman that I actually really want. But fuck, she's so beautiful. Maybe she's waiting for a boyfriend. Maybe she's waiting for her friend and her friend's gonna come up and disrupt us. Just constantly your mind is going through every excuse and you just paralyze yourself. 
And then you think about going to do it because you're like, okay, I've been doing this for a while or I've been wanting to do this. And this is the girl I feel like I deserve, but... And then you're going through everything. Now your heart's racing. And as your heart's racing right now, you're feeling like, okay, the situation is here. Maybe you look over it, you notice her, you do like this. And if you just knew the simplest action to take right now, this situation could be completely different. The situation could be totally different, guys. Just the feeling of like she's right there, just in grass, but at the same time, she's not. These are the moments that I used to struggle with all the time, guys. I used to always struggle with this, just seeing the girl just right there. She's just right next to me. But I just can't do anything. I just feel like I can. I feel like, fuck, she's so beautiful, and this is the girl that I want. And I feel like a lot of my energy is tied into this woman. Like, she is, honestly, so beautiful that I better go up and I better do everything right or I'm not going to have a chance. Just everything used to go through me like this. And then I used to just psych myself out. And maybe I... Maybe I just go like this and I just walk past and I just keep going like this. And I just don't do it at all because I just go, why even bother? Why even try when I know that it's not going to go good anyway? I don't want to get rejected. She looks so beautiful, I don't want to get rejected. It's moments like this over and over and over that I've been into. A woman standing there, I want to meet her. And then I feel inside of myself, oh my God, this is too much. It's like she's waiting for somebody and then regret sets in for me. And just like for you, maybe regret sets in, but that's why I'm here to show you guys there's one simple action that you can take to make sure that that situation doesn't happen to you like it used to always happen to me. Or maybe you guys have a situation like this. Right now I'm outside of Starbucks and maybe you're sitting here working or maybe you just got a coffee and you're just relaxing and you're just noticing everything around you and then you look back and you notice, oh, there's a the girl that I would talk to. And immediately everything comes to you. Immediately you go into your head. You know, what if this is a strange situation? What if the other people around me notice me? You know, what if she is waiting for a boyfriend? All these situations come to mind to get us away from doing the thing that we really want to do. And guys are in this situation every single day. Every single day they're in this situation. Where they're sitting somewhere, they're relaxing, they're just chilling out, and then they look over and they notice that there's a girl there that I want to meet. And like most guys on earth, what do they do in this situation? They do what I'm doing now. They talk about it in their mind. They make up excuses. Like I used to. Just, you know, maybe right now she she's, doesn't want to be bothered. You know, this looks perfect, but you know, maybe she's waiting for someone and you know, that someone is gonna come up and disrupt what's happening. You know, just me even going in the future and going, if I go up to her, then her friend's gonna come up and think that I'm weird. It's all these different things that my mind used to go through. And I missed out on this situation a lot. Now what I want you guys to do is to understand that this situation for you can be different if you make it different. I didn't make these situations different by me just sitting here just not doing anything. I made these situations different by me allowing something different to happen in this moment when my mind would race, when my heart would go into like, like freak out and I would feel like, fuck, I can't do anything and I would feel paralyzed. So what can you do? What can you do in these three situations that you've come up against? You come up against a situation where the woman's coming towards you. Then you have the situation where the woman's just standing there. And then as a third one, as you guys seen, you have the situation where the woman is sitting down. 
in the first one, she's coming. And as she's coming towards you, you start to feel all the sensations. You start to go into your head and you feel paralyzed, meaning you take no action. Then you go into the second situation where you see the beautiful woman standing there. You want her. A part of you is just like, go do it, man. What are you waiting for? This is the beautiful woman that you've been wanting to speak to. Why is it when this chance comes up, you're not doing it? Then you start to beat yourself up about it. You start to regret that moment. You start to feel that moment was there for me and now it's not there anymore. In the third situation, the girl sitting down behind you, you're chilling out. Maybe you're taking a break from the day, you're on break from work, or maybe it's just right after work. You're just getting a coffee, or in the morning even, when most people get coffee. And you notice that girl sitting there. You notice that that is the woman that I want to meet. That's the beautiful woman that I've been saying to myself that I want into my life. You go into your head once again, the heart starts to race, and the same thing happens over and over and over. And I used to go through these three situations and many other situations, many other times, where I see a woman that I want to speak to, that I'm in a situation where I've told myself, okay, you know what? This is the thing that I've been waiting for. This is the situation that's going to be the difference between me getting her or not. And I just didn't do it. I've been in that situation so many times. And that's how I know that you guys are struggling with the same thing or have struggled or still struggling, of course. But I found a way. I found the simplest thing that I can do in that moment to make sure that I never go through that situation again. And that's what I want to teach you guys. The simple thing you can do every single time you find yourself in a situation like that, to just make sure that you don't miss the opportunity. Guys are constantly missing the opportunity. Guys are constantly just going, seeing these situations and constantly making sure that they don't go in so they can just stay safe. And as they do this, they remain frustrated, they remain feeling unworthy and they remain regretful. I started to do something different in these situations though. In all these situations, I started to go, what is a way for me to make sure that I'm taking action in this moment instead of trying to think about all the reasons why I shouldn't take action? And with the awareness, I start to notice that all I really need to do in those moments, all that I really need to do is take the simplest, easiest action towards going to talk to the girl. That's all I needed to do. That's all I needed to do in those moments because why try to think about the whole thread of the interaction? Why try to put so much pressure on myself to have to try to get her from this moment? The moment hasn't even unfolded yet and I'm already thinking about how can I do the process from meet all the way to date, I'm, it, all, just even all the way to the number. There's no way that I can be that far ahead when I'm in this moment. So I started to do simple actions. I started to just break down what was happening for me. Because I knew that the trying to do everything, that wouldn't work. The trying to figure out, okay, how can I go in there, make sure everything work out, how can I do this, get out of there, all that shit didn't work. So, when I started to do simple actions, it started to transform these moments. 
The girl would be coming towards me and I would do the first simple action that I feel in that moment. The first simple action. Then I will see a woman standing there. Then it will be the first simple action. Then of course the third situation is the woman would be sitting there for me and then I would do what? The first simple action. And as I'm always doing these first, so to speak, simple actions, I am allowing myself to move toward the situation of me having women in my life. Because I can't do anything from the position of paralysis, nothing, nothing at all. And many guys try to operate from trying to force themselves out of paralysis into trying to go do the whole approach. But that transition from feeling like, fuck, this is scary and I can't do this, to trying to do the whole approach, that is too big of a jump for you. When you're struggling with this, it's too big of a jump. But making small jumps, making small steps, taking small actions is going to make this situation so much better. It's going to make it so much easier for yourself. Starting from the position of, this is difficult, I feel scared, the woman is too beautiful, fuck, I'm in my head, I can't do this, blah, blah, blah. Everything that's happening from that position, in every single situation, I just started to do the first simple thing, and I started to notice changes in myself. I started to know the change, first of all, in the way that I felt. That was the first thing. I started to feel these changes in, I don't feel scared anymore in this moment. I don't feel nervous. I don't feel like right now I'm paralyzed. And that was a relief for me. And then from that place, I would do the next simple action. And I would feel that, wow, this is so much easier for me. And then the next simple action, and then the next simple action, to the point where I felt this flow of being able to just go say hello to a woman with no resistance on the inside because of the simple actions that I took in the beginning. When a man starts to take simple actions, when he becomes afraid, towards that which he wants, it starts to dilute. Whatever that situation that used to scare him, it, used, it, it starts to dilute in his power over him. And mine started to dilute over time. When you're first starting out, this doesn't make any sense to you. Because you're not used to taking the first simple action. You're only used to allowing that to stop you. But I can tell you right now, the moment that you commit yourself to taking the first simple action to when, you, to when you see that girl and you feel afraid, take the first simple action towards going to talk to her, what will happen is you will start to feel different. The situation will become easier. Maybe you don't get that girl, but then maybe you get the girl that's three girls after her because with each girl you're taking simple actions of going up to say hello to them. And that moment from here to going to talk to her, that resistance becomes just flow. That's what it is. It feels like there's so much separation when you're standing there and you see the woman. It feels like, this, like it's miles apart. You coming from this place of just total paralysis to being in flow, it seems so far apart. But the crazy thing is that all it requires is simple steps and those simple steps is actually what breaks through the resistance the resistance is broken through through the small simple steps that you take towards the flow that needs to happen for you the flow wants to come through you the allowing of the situation to unfold wants to happen through you but 
it requires a step by step. If you try to make a huge jump, you will always feel like this is too far away from me. Always. And I started to do this with women. And I started to do this when I was going out during the day. And I started to do this when I was going out at night. And what I noticed is that I wasn't struggling anymore with going up to speak to women because I knew all I had to do was take the simple next step. And then from that step, take the next simple step. And from that step, continue this process. And as I continued this process, I knew what would happen was is that eventually it would unfold for me. Eventually this process would lose its resistance and I would feel that this is much easier for me. That's what, would, that's what happened to me, is that that whole chaotic feeling of paralysis, it just started to completely dilute to the point where I was like, this is not hard for me anymore because I've done this. I felt moments where I couldn't go up. I've been through this. I've been through this song and dance before. Over and over and over, I put myself into this situation, in these situations, and I went, you know what? I'm just gonna take the first simple step. And I did the first th simple thing. And sometimes it's just as simple as looking. That's, that's literally one of the first simple steps that you can do, it's just looking, really. That's one simple step you can do. Now there's so many simple steps that can do, but I'm not gonna teach you in this video. Of course, guys in my workshop, they get this, but guys, you know, for here, all I wanna tell you is that you need to do the first simple step. That is the thing that's gonna help you. It's the first simple action. Because as you do that, what will happen is the situation loses its, its power over you. It becomes diluted. And as it becomes diluted, you become more comfortable in the situation. From this point on, I want you guys to do the first simple thing from this point on. When you, feel, when you see yourself in a situation where the woman is coming towards you, do the first simple thing in the moment. The next simple action, the next simple thing, because that gets you going. When you see the woman standing there and you feel like, oh man, I'm, I'm scared, uh, there she is, and you're feeling that and like, okay, I like her. And when you're going through all that and you know, maybe this is strange and, you know, maybe she has a boyfriend. When you're feeling all that, allow yourself to stop and go, what is the first simple action I can take right now to go speak to this woman? What is the first simple action? Or you see the girl, you're sitting there, maybe it's the morning time, and maybe you don't feel like it. Maybe it's some time of the day and you don't feel like it, or you're just chilling out, and you look over and you notice her. What is, the, what is the simple, simple thing you can do right now to allow yourself to go say hello to this woman? Don't be regretful. Men struggle with regret. Oh, I like that, it's pretty cool, huh? It's a cool car. Men struggle with regret, they do. They struggle with regret because they're constantly allowing every situation that's fearful to stop them to give them the reason to not do it. Be different. Give yourself the chance. And as you give yourself the chance, what you notice is your life with women, like I have now, is just totally different. My life is totally different because I started to do this. And that's why I want to teach you guys this. In the meantime, what I want you guys to do is that I want you to go over to the description box. Because as much as I'm giving out free content now, I have some more free content to give you. In the description box, what you'll find there is a link. And this is a link to my free Meat to Bedroom series. I cover everything from the meat all the way to setting up to date to taking a woman home. And I do it in a very quick and effective guide. It's about 30 minutes of me just explaining everything. And it's gonna give you the chance to start your dating life in a way that you want to. Your dating life doesn't have to wait. You're waiting. But your dating life doesn't have to wait anymore. So go there, click that link, allow that to take you to another page, put in your email so you can start to get free exclusive content from my subscribe list. And you'll be able to watch these videos, guys.
Until next time, who you are is valuable for that which you want in life and in relation to women. It's just realizing it. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. You know, I'm always giving you something new. And it's also something new that I want to give you. I've created a video series, which is Approach to Bedroom. And I'll be showing you everything from what do you say upon an approach, not what to say, but how you can say what you want to say and being able to have the mindsets to go with that, being able to be in conversation, being able to take the woman home. And along this path, just giving you insights into things that may pop up to give you issues. I've covered it in this video series that, you know, packed full of about three hours of me just giving you guys everything that I can say is going to be the best from approach to bedroom. If you want this, it's totally free. If you want this, click the link below and what will happen is that you'll get a video series sent right to you and check it out. Until next time, I'm out.